All right, this is video number two, a progress report on my 2018 Hackaday Prize entry, the Mugomatic Modular CNC and its accessory modules. Uh, so this is an educational toy uh, that you can build at home with your kids or with a classroom to teach kids about robotics and programming and things like that. So this is this is the first time I've actually had this thing doing a demo on camera, I realize, and I'm developing so quickly, I, I'm getting ahead of myself, I realized I hadn't done a video update in a while. And so this is this is not even the latest uh, the latest prototype, but uh, uh, I wanted to show you this was a significant milestone. I want to show you what it can do at this time, uh, at the time I had this. So um, you hook it up here. You just drop it onto your coffee mug. Uh, it's got an Arduino Nano and a little breakout board right in there. And you take your marker. It's a Sharpie Mini specifically. You put it on the back and you press it all the way down. This nice uh, controlled distance between this, this repeatable distance between this cap face and this tip that we use to datum off of so our machine knows exactly where the marker tip is so it doesn't end up overloading or underloading it or missing and not drawing at all. Um, let me see. And then I want to show you, point this out while it's not moving is this flexible, flexible element here. This was a very important aspect that I realized was necessary. If you in, just rely entirely on the squareness of everything, the marker will either disengage or stall against the mug. So that was a, um, a little necessary component to the assembly. So let's see here. So what I've got it doing right now is drawing a set of nested squares. It's just a simple algorithm drawing, but um, it's good for testing uh, and determining just because I have a very clear output as what, what I expect it to look like and I can see what the errors are. Um, so one obvious one is, is overshoot. So there's a lot of rotating mass up here um, and the Arduino just says, hey, go from this angle to this angle. Swings all the way around and then it can't stop on a dime. It, it's little tuning algorithms uh, internal to the Arduino are, are not tuned for that. So they, they don't know what's going on. Um, let me see, there's also, I, I, there's a, actually almost a couple, almost two degrees of backlash internal to the servo itself. Now, no matter how good I design everything else, I have to work around that. So that's an algorithm I'm going to have to develop as well. The, uh, you can see how that, how that looks um, is this gap right here. So it's, it's not reaching the destination it was programmed to reach, and it's for that reason. So you have to put in smart code. Uh, to do that. So what other what other uh, things are there? I think um, the flex thing, marker datum, momentum issues. Um, let me see. Batteries. I realized I, I wanted to put a little battery pack on here. So there's there was an issue with form factor and actually fitting a ton of batteries on this thing. It's just it's just a big weight. But I think let's put them right here. It just kind of just kind of fits naturally. So I think that's that's what I'm going to end up going with. Um, yeah, the resolution. So instead of, it's going to be smarter to develop code, instead of telling it to go from zero degrees to 70 degrees and swing all the way over there, I'm experimentally determining the minimum resolution that this actuator can move. And then I can write a program that says, hey, if you want to go from here to there, go there in 25 steps of, of that minimum resolution. Go do, 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 do. Um, and you can do that forever in, in every, every direction. And, um, that would be the smarter way to do it. And so there's, there's still a lot of programming work to come, but uh, some physical testing at the end of this video, I show some repeat pitch position repeatability testing and some um, motion under load testing. So uh, the actuator, I determine with uh, pennies and a pulley, uh, it can move with uh, under load 100 grams or so and still hit the same positions before, uh, before any additional load causes it to not necessarily stall, just not reach the target position is the issue. It goes up to about 200 grams, if I remember right, before it starts stalling out under uh, 6 volts. Um, but yeah, so that so the, in the other portion of this video, the very end, I want to show that this project is, this is a complete entity. This is a, a it's going to be a DIY kit you can make uh, with your kid on the weekend or something like that. This is, but there's the cool aspect of, of it is that all the pieces are modular. So once you get really into it if you if you master this thing you're like oh i want to expand it well there's that option will be available uh, and you can make your own robots from scratch as well just from these components because they're, they're all going to be shared online so 
Uh, I'll quit babbling and show you what, uh, what I'm talking about here with these other little actuators with some testing. Turn the power on here, it's a battery, to a manual servo tester. Um, so let's just one at a time. Oh, this one is a uh, rubber band launcher. Let's see if I can figure out the intent here. You put the rubber band like this, and then you can, boom, launch it. Uh, let's see, next, next thing is a gripper. Closes up, it's got a lot of strength, and it opens up to be flat on one face, which is pretty cool. Uh, future version doesn't have the screws in there, so it's literally um, only screws in with the screws that come with the servo, which is nice. Ah, third thing, so this is one of the joints, one of the uh, primary joint modules you can use to build stuff. It's a pivot joint, zero to 180 degrees of uh, con rigid controlled motion and um, it's easy to attach things to it, and it has a little spot you can put wire uh, strain relief as well, so you can control things. Everything is designed uh, also to be easy to print. Nothing, none of these things have build supports or post-processing, so uh, I'm really proud of that aspect of it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this one's a different one. It's got FS90R continuous servo, and I can control the speed with this knob. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying, trying to hit the stop point here. I've got a fishing line, if you can see that. And um, I've got a little button in there hooked up so that um, when you pull the fishing line, click, 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 you, it, it, it'll detect if it's going to overload the motor. So these motors, you can control speed but not read position. But I said, oh, for the applications I have in mind, you don't need that. I just need to know if the motor is about to overload itself so I can stop and that I can get feedback with something else, like an accelerometer, which can to Durbin levelness and things like that. So that's that's one of the modules. Uh, oh, here we go. And the oh, twist module. So you attach things on the bottom face, and it twists on the top like that. And then, of course, the linear actuator, which I've already shown and, and tested with. But I think with this set of these four uh, joint modules, you can make a lot of cool robotic motions, and then uh, these are examples of uh, end effectors, things you might want to put on the end of the robot. So what's what's the robot do? It's the business end. How does it move? What does it do? Ah, and this one, I don't have my, darn, I don't have my phone. I was, I was really happy with this one. This is a phone, smartphone holder. You see, ah, there it is. There's that's how it works, anyway. They're flexible. You, so you can put any smartphone you want in there, and then I, the intent there was your smartphone has a lot of stuff on it. You could use the camera. I was imagining like a, you could use FaceTime and do like a little simple telepresence bot style thing. I don't know. It sounds like it's going to be fun. And uh, that's it for this update for now. Thanks for watching.